I really want to emphasize that rooting is not a mechanical thing. It is an energetic thing. And we establish it by, by establishing relationships through the body between the heavens and earth and, uh, and the chi, uh, the big chi. But it is that energetic connection, that energetic attraction to the earth that really makes the root sing. And without that, you have mechanical bracing where you can, you can lock into a, a very fixed position, but it's limited by the, uh, by the structure. And some structures are very good for certain directions, but not so good for others. But when we're talking about rooting, we're talking about having this omnidirectional uh, energetic connection so that you can stand with your feet parallel straight up and, and, and still maintain your position in space just by your energetic connection with the earth. And so much of what we've been doing and exploring with the, you know, in this past year plus has been, how do we amplify that energetic connection with the earth? How do we get out of our own way so that we can really feel that throughout? It's not just when someone's pushing on me, but whenever you have that energetic connection, it's feeding you. You're plugging into the big chi and you're constantly replenishing your energy. So the demonstration of it, that is, can I stand on one foot and have someone push on me? That's that's a really cool demonstration and kind of affirms, you know, that, oh, there is something going on here, but it's not really where the value or most of the value is. Most of the value comes in the fact that you are actively engage in an energetic exchange with something much greater than you are. And with that, you're constantly regenerating, purifying, uh, renewing your own chi. And that's a lot of fun. And so, you know, I emphasize in any forms that I teach that that be a constant throughout the whole form. And you can test it by having someone push on you in any posture and any transition and see if indeed you are rooted in that posture. And if you're not, then you are not getting the maximum value you could from your whatever form or qigong or whatever you're doing. So you want to have that as a concept. So we keep coming back to, you know, what I call the three pillars where you are establishing those connections and getting out of your own way so that then you can do cool stuff. And uh, if you try to go to the cool stuff before establishing those, it's, you're just gonna have a surface experience of those things. Okay, so uh, um, in terms of rooting, we, whatever, we're looking for that sweet spot. We're looking for a place where the connection is, is the most profound and also seemingly empty. So it, it, it's paradoxical in that when you are really rooted, it feels like you're not. If you, and it feels like you're, you know, you, you, you don't have anything. And that's because you're plugged into the big chi and you have gotten rid of, at least temporarily, most of the muscular uh, contractions, most of the muscular tension that distracts you from that, from, from that state. So it's a... Uh, you're you're constantly looking for that 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 sweet spot. 